Hi guys. Hola. Um, I'm gonna try today to make a um, dual um, tutorial of my skulls, my floral skulls. Uh, voy a tratar de hacer este tutorial en español también. So I'm gonna be speaking in English and then in Spanish as well. Wish me luck. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, a lot of you guys put the skull emoji in my last post or my post from the other day and so I figured I would make a live demonstration. Um, pues vamos a empezar con ese tutorial de la uh, calavera floral. Vamos a utilizar uh, papel. Um, ese es el papel que yo utilizo. So this is the paper that I use, 65 pounds on its thickness, uh, 176 gramos por metro cuadrado, um, el tipo de papel. <clears throat> so here are my layers. The, these um, skulls have basically multiple layers. Um, and really you can use as many as you want, but I like to use all of them because each one creates uh, a color an effect. Entonces puedes utilizar um, todas las capas o solamente algunas. Uh, por ejemplo, aquí utilizo solamente dos capas. Here I'm using only two layers. But as you can see, the details are multicolored the more layers you use. Los más capas que utilizas, los más colores diferentes vas a tener en todos um, los des, uh, detalles. Ok, um, voy también a utilizar um, Barely Arts cola. I'm using the Barely Arts uh, glue with the precision tip. Um, tengo un link. I have a link in my Amazon storefront. In my biography, in my bio, in my bio, tengo un link. Um, puedes tener a 10% uh, un descuento, discount, a 10% discount if you use that link. All right. Vamos a empezar, de hecho, vamos a empezar con la flor, con los ojos. So, we're actually going to start with the eyes, which are the flowers. Um, and I'm going to do a dual color for the eyes. Um, vamos a hacer el centro. We're going to do the center of the flower. Um, we're going to shape it a little bit using this foam mat. This is also linked in my Amazon storefront in the, my bio. And we're going to use um, a ball stylus. The, all my tools, by the way, are linked in my Amazon storefront, so I don't have to repeat myself. Um, vamos a utilizar ese um, bolígrafo esférico. Se llama ball stylus. Y también una, un tapete de espuma. We're going in circles around the edges. Vamos a hacer movimientos circulares. No necesitas mucho. You don't need to do a whole lot, but just a little bit to create some dimension. Vamos a crear un poco de dimensión. Okay. Y después vamos a utilizar la cola. We're going to use the glue to stack these up. So from the biggest to smallest. El, más, el círculo más grande será abajo y el más pequeño arriba. Sé que es un poco lejos, entonces voy a poner más cerca. I'm allowing you guys to see it close by since I know these are a bit small. Um, y vamos a repetir. We're going to repeat the same thing. You also don't need a whole lot of glue. No necesitas mucho, uh, mucha cola. Mucha cola. And I can also use my fingers or 
whatever tools to sort of make sure that they're right in the center. This one is not in the center. I'm going to redo this one. Voy a hacerlo de nuevo porque no está en el centro donde lo quiero. Okay, here we go. Tengo los centros. I have the centers for my flowers. Now I'm going to work on the petals. Um, here we go. Voy a utilizar ese... Um, no sé cómo se llama. I don't know what this is called in Spanish. It's now I'm forgetting even in English what this is called. This is great. <laughs> uh, it is basically like a pen that allows you to give some texture to your, well, in this case, petals. Entonces, eso permite de dar un poco de textura a los pétalos. Vamos a hacer algunas líneas, so I'm just doing some lines, a couple of lines, not trying to be, you know, to have them be super straight, they're just kind of randomly. A scoring pen, oh my gosh, it came back to me. So this is a scoring pen, I mean, you can use anything that allows you to make like a line like that. Um, vamos a hacer el mismo. Puedes utilizar no solamente ese bolígrafo. ¿Cómo se dice scoring? Score. Tengo mi uh, diccionario. ¿Cómo se dice scoring? Cut a scratch. Um, oh, rayado. Es, Un, un bolígrafo de rayado, tal vez? No sé. I think this is what, it, what it's called. Pues puedes utilizar cualquier instrumento que te permita hacer esas líneas. O puedes, mm, puedes no hacer, mm, no necesitas hacer ese paso. Por ejemplo, aquí yo no hice algunas líneas. Aquí sí. Hice las líneas y yo pienso que, pues, da un, una, un ele, es un elemento que hace las flores más realísticas. So I do think the lines add a little bit more of a realistic look. But as you guys saw, my examples, you can totally skip this step. Yes, it was. Um, let's see. Ahora voy a utilizar um, ese instrumento, um, un skewer, um, a wooden dowel, para dar un poco de, de dimensión. So I'm using this skewer or wooden dowel um, to give a little bit of curve a curl or rather some dimension to my petals they're really tiny you don't really need to you know uh, force it too much it's just going to be very slight see you can see the shadows that it's starting to form eso también es un detalle pequeño que puedes saltar no necesitas hacer eso um, pero yo prefiero I like taking my time doing these small details, um, but I also know that you can totally skip them. So I'm only going to do the top layer of my petals. Solo voy a hacer uh, eso para um, la capa que va a ser en, en encima, okay? I'm not going to do anything to... I'm going to leave my petals for the bottom layer, which is the red. I'm going to leave those flat. Y hago el mismo, doing the same. Hola, thank you for all the waves and the highs and the hellos. Hola, hola. I hope that this is helpful. Espero le ayude ese tutorial. Um, 
la plantilla está en mi Etsy. I'm using my own template, as you guys know. It's in my Etsy shop. And right now I'm having the 20% off on my digital templates. Mis plantillas son um, a la venta, en venta. Uh, 20%. <clears throat> Okay, so now that I have my petals the way I want them, I'm just gonna attach. Voy a colocar los pétalos. Mm. Mm. Okay. okay, I'm trying to not put them directly on top because I still want to see the bottom layer. Necesito ver, quiero ver la capa que está abajo, entonces pongo los pétalos. En, ese, en esa posición. Entonces no hago eso, pero eso. Okay. Vamos a repetir la misma cosa y ahora po uh, pongo el centro. So now I'm putting the center on each flower. Yeah, so as here we go. Muy linda con el rojo y amarillo. I really like the red and yellow combo. Um, all right, so now I'm, I'm going to set the eyes aside. Vamos a poner al lado los ojitos de nuestra calavera. Y vamos a preparar la pues, la calavera. Uh, so now we're going to prepare the, uh, or assemble rather, the, uh, the skull. But one thing that I want to mention is make sure that before you glue everything, um, make sure that you stack everything on top as if you were gluing it, just so that you can see and so you can see how it's going to stack and to make sure basically that you're not you know if this is flipped over it's not gonna see how the nose is showing a little bit it's not gonna I'm missing the word now uh, it's not gonna align it's not gonna align uh, perfectly so make sure that you have all of your layers asegúrate que tengas todas las capas en la posición correcta um, Si una de las capas es al, al revés, no se va a align. Hold on. ¿Cómo se dice align? No se va a alienar. Whoa. Alienar. Ok. Uh, sounds like I'm saying alien. No se va a alienar correctamente. Entonces, antes de que pongas la cola, asegúrate que las capas sean alienadas. All right, guys. Um, okay, now that I have them, and this is the bottom too. Now that I have them aligned, uh, I'm going to, well, I'm going to set aside the bottom for now. I'm going to flip this over and start putting uh, cola. Voy a poner glue. <laughs> of course, my language is not mixing up, but that's okay. Entonces, es, uh, es normal, pienso, que las lenguas se uh, confundan un poquito. Entonces, les pido perdón si hablo un poco de uh, es, uh, Spanglish. All right, now I'm taking the other one. Right on top. Algo que yo no hice correctamente es poner la cola en la capa que va um, encima. Porque afortun afortunadamente esa cola uh, es transparente. This glue uh, dries transparent. But I should have put the glue on the layer that's on top, not the layer that's on the bottom. Because the layer that's on top has you know less pieces. So I don't want to put glue on the pieces that are going to show. If that makes sense. So, voy a demostrar. No voy a poner la cola aquí, pero en la capa que va encima. 
So now this is the correct way to do it. Put the glue on the layer that's going on top. But like I said, if you're using Barely Arts glue, it does dry clear, so we're good. It's gonna be blandy. <laughs> okay. Es la capa final, pero tam tenemos también uh, la que va bajo. We, this is the last layer that has the details. Then we're just gonna have to place it in the black layer, which has that cool like outline. Puedes ver, uh, es posible hacer algunos uh, movimientos con tus manos. As you guys can see, I'm like picking up the, the skull so that I can make any like slight adjustments before the glue dries, so that's possible. Um, es posible también remover una capa si no la, no la, no la has puesto correctamente. It is also possible to just remove a layer if you did not place it correctly. Um, be gentle, be careful, but it is possible. I did it plenty of times. <laughs> All right, um, vamos a poner la calavera en su capa final. So let me just make sure that this is gonna... Okay, cool. Es correcto el lado. It's on the right side. Siempre pon la cola en el lado que va encima, en la capa que va encima. Always placing the glue on the layer that goes on top. So, as, so that's it for the skull. Now I'm going to put one more element to it, which is the uh, spider web, la tela de araña. Es el último detalle, pues, uh, los ojos también, pero antes de los ojos. Of course, the eyes are really the last ones, but um, I don't know. I kind of see them like as a different element, I guess. Because they are 3D, they pop, so that's why, I guess. Ah! Entonces, uh, vas a poner cola en todos, en todas las partes, lo que más puedes, especialmente en los puntos. So you're going to put glue pretty much everywhere but especially make sure that the sides uh, the corners have glue okay vamos a ponerlo en el centro pero encima de la cabeza de la calavera 
So yeah, I'm still working on making my final project with these, which is going to be a uh, garland. Voy a hacer una guirlanda. Um, pero estoy todavía en el proceso de hacerla. Okay. But yeah, these could go on a shadow box. They could just go directly on the wall. I don't know what other ideas you guys, if you have any ideas, let me know. But it would be a cool way to decorate for Dia de los Muertos, those of you who celebrate, los uh, que um, celebran Dia de Muertos. Uh, pienso que son una decoración um, apropiada para para la ofrenda para uh, para celebrar las personas que ya no están con nosotros uh, y ahí está so here it is this is my calavera with 3d paper flowers as eyes a lot of cute elements i think um that i think it's worth to take the time to put all the layers pienso que Vale la pena hacer todas las capas porque me gusta que todos los detalles, los diseños um, sean en diferentes colores. Pero también, como he dicho, puedes hacer una calavera que es más simple con solamente dos capas. This is my other design and I'm just saying that um, even though I personally think it's worth it to do these cool um, multi-layered calaveras, you can definitely do a more simple one. Um, by just using, you know, the bottom layer, the black layer, and then the top layer. Um, okay. Mm, but, but either way, so both of these versions are in my Etsy shop. If you guys are interested, the templates, las plantillas para, para las dos versiones de calaveras son disponibles en mi tienda Etsy. Um, anything else that I wanted to say? I think that's it for me. Let me just take a look real quick if there's any questions. What type of glue are you using? Please, I already mentioned that I'm using the Barely Arts Precision Glue and I do have a link in my bio that gets you 10% off. Mm. Okay. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Gracias por estar conmigo. Mm, espero le ayude. I hope this tutorial helped, and if you have any questions, just send me a DM. Si tienen preguntas, pueden mandarme un mensaje privado o un correo. An email would be even better. It would ensure that I would respond to you faster because it's easier for me to see. Okay, tengan un buen día. Have a great day, guys. Bye.